Hey guys, welcome to this video. In this video, we're taking a quick look at Easy Boot. It's to create multiple uh, multi boot CDs and DVDs. Now, with this program, you can create all your own custom CDs with all your Windows operating systems on one disk and also ERD commanders, all those on one disk, and so on and so on. Maybe you want a, a selection of virus scanners on there, bootable virus scanners, you can do that, and also utilities like Ultimate Boot CD for Win, uh, Live CD, XP, Vista and so on, Windows 7, you can have more than one disk. So let's have a look where we can get the program from. You can get it from this website here, let me just show you the product information, it has got a forum here to help you get through the difficult bits that you get stuck on or you can come onto my forum and ask for help and I'll do my best to help you. So this is the actual program. It isn't free, I'm afraid. It's twenty nine ninety five. I'm not affiliated with this company in any way, shape or form, so I won't be getting any of this money, so don't think I'm going to be getting a bonus for helping them sell it. I'm not. Um, but there you go. This it's works with all these operating systems down here. Okay. So let's have a look what we can do with a little quick mucking around. Well, this is the version that I've created so far. It's pretty quick and easy to do. Now I've got inside mine ERD Commander for XP, Heron's Boot CD 12.0, also ERD for Windows 7 and Vista, both 32-bit and 64 versions. Okay, I've got a Cronus and Redo Backup and Restore, and I've also got uh, just ba basically boot to the hard drive. Now you could add on there uh, Windows Live CD, also Ultimate Boot CD for Win and so on and so on, but I'll put them on a separate disk to have all those types of things, okay, because this pretty much does everything uh, for this disk, this type of disk, okay, backing up and rescuing stuff. So how do we go about doing it? Well I'll try and quickly go through some basic steps because obviously I've only got 10 minutes because I'm not a partner yet so I can't make longer videos and it does take a fair bit of time to get it all set up. So this is the actual control panel bit here that you need to edit. Okay, Now this will edit, take out the image. You've also got uh, the wait time uh, and also we've got layout. Now if you look at layout, this is the actual my layout that I've got also text which is the text here you can see multi boot rescue disk you can change all that if you wanted to um, as you can see all you need to do is click on these tabs down here this writing down here and see the text inside there you would just edit that text to what you like now with the basic version when you download it it does look like this that easy boot with a menu it does give you a starting point so you don't have to do loads and loads of work gives you a starting block to actually edit okay and then you just change the color what you want on there okay next bit is uh, your name and all that sort of stuff and then come down to menu and then you can add in your menu okay so once you've done that um, pretty much if you wanted to change your text you can do um, again if you want to change stuff you just click on these tabs here and you'll see you can change them okay uh, that's for normal this is for for front and back now inside here you've got action key one two three and that's the actual keys there and if you want to change the font inside these you just again type inside these windows here menu text now this is the most important part which is the actual command you have to edit the command to make the image work now you will need images to put inside your easy boot folder now this is my easy boot folder it's full of programs okay uh, or the actual uh, Heron's boot CD folder now hopefully try and make another video and show you how to do that at some point but these are my bootable images the ones that this is like a you know bin files and Q files this is how this sort of works these are the boot part and it will make it boot okay so let's have a look at the recovery manager this is to do with uh, a Cronus okay so what that's um, that there and I've also got 
some other bits and pieces in there okay so let's uh, move on so inside your ISO this is where it creates your ISO so you can burn it and the way you do that is let me just delete that for you so you can see how you create one you just need to go back to file and then click on make ISO like so and make and it will make that ISO ready to go and it will start to create it it's pretty straightforward and it's pretty quick let me just pause that okay that's uh, now created that ISO image so I can close this off for a second I'll just quickly fire that up so we can see it in action okay let's start this now so we can see just quickly fire this up so you can see what it looks like and there we have our list okay now if I wanted to go into for argument's sake ERD click in there and it will give me the option because I've set it up this way to whatever version I want to boot into okay and uh, let me just come out of there Acronis again you just uh, obviously click into there and that will load Acronis like so just escape that and it's pretty easy to do but once you get yourself all sorted out you can uh, get into ERD commanders and you've also got here in Spoot CD again this will load up that okay anyway so that's that let me just close that off that's how it works and you can add more images if you want now you're going to need to make sure you've got your images like this and you take them out I'll show you exactly what you need to do I've only got a little bit of time left okay so what you need to do is make sure you've got a program called ultra ISO you open the file so you go open say for argument say come to here and boot CD click open and you'll see these files here okay you need to get the HBCD so let me just open up my easy boot folder and you'll see it in there okay there it is there okay and what you do is you actions extract and you go to the easy boot folder it's as simple as that now you don't go inside the easy boot you go inside the disk one folder and click OK and that will transfer it into there once you've done that you need to go to bootable save boot file okay and then that will give you this box and then you need to go into the easy boot folder so I'll show you which one it is just so you can see it on the video and then you go into this folder okay and, so, and now you need to call this a Cronus or whatever you want dot bin okay and you'll see it in there and just quickly go into there inside here you'll see it that's the file it's only a small file but that's what makes it work and once you've done that you need to come into your easy boot and do your menu system so once you've done a Cronus you can see there now I'm going to click on a Cronus and it will say a Cronus in the list and that's the code that you would need to make it bootable now these codes change you can have a Cronus run a Cronus dot bin sometimes that works if it doesn't you need to put this part in front of it okay now you can get all that on my forum or you can copy just this video again I'll show you redo redo backup is the same thing and there's the code there and you just need to put it into this location here okay um, this is the let me just see this is the actual ISO Linux and it's also a few other files let me just open it up for you so you can see if I've got time so many seconds I mean, I've got enough time okay anyway I don't think I've got enough time to show that but you've got the general idea if you get stuck I'll try and make another video a little bit more in depth okay so if you get stuck come onto my forum and I'll help you out as best I can okay if you want to get onto my forum by all means get onto the forum here 
writechcomputers.co.uk forward slash forum join on here and uh, join the community and I'll try and help you out the best I can ok my name is Brian from brightech.co.uk hope you enjoy my videos if you do please remember hit the subscribe button show support and uh, I'll see you later bye for now